In today's video, I'm sharing six ways that you can use Notion buttons to make your Notion workspace more streamlined and more aesthetically pleasing. Tip number one is to use buttons to quick capture items into your Notion databases. So let's just create a Notion database for my tasks. I'm gonna hit slash and I'm going to type database. And for this example, I'm just going to create an inline database and we'll call it tasks. Here, I can change the name to task and we can just add a simple checkbox right here. Let's delete this tags property and add a checkbox for this example. Now, if I hit enter above this a couple times, I'll have some extra space and I can just hit slash type B-U-T, hit enter. And now we're going to quick capture a task. So I'm going to name this button quick capture task. And no matter where I am in my Notion workspace, I'm going to be able to click this button to add a task to this database. So let's go ahead and change the icon to a check mark for quick capture of the task. And let's add a step of add pages to. And we're going to select our database of tasks. And let's go ahead and leave this task title untitled. And we'll leave the checkbox unchecked. So no need to mess with any of the settings if this is the setup you're using for your quick capture. But then we're gonna add another step and we're gonna say open page. And we wanna open the page that we create. So I'm gonna hit select page and I'm going to hit new page added. This is going to open the new page that I create when I click this button. So let's open that as a side peek so that it pops out on the side of the screen. And then I'm gonna hit done and now, like I said, no matter where we are in our Notion workspace, I hit quick capture. And it's going to add a new item to that database. I can quickly give it a name. And then if I want to, I can check it off at any time. But the point of this button is it just makes it easier and a lot quicker to add new tasks to your database. My next tip is to open a page as a side panel and then drag items out of it into another page or database. So let's imagine that we have a calendar change to calendar view, and we'll just go with our tasks database that I just created. And actually we need to create a date property, but let's just change the layout here to calendar. Now these tasks in here have a date associated with them, but if they don't have a date associated with them, then they're not going to show up in my calendar. So let's imagine we wanted to schedule tasks that need to be scheduled, they don't have a date. What we could do is go ahead and hide this title and then we're going to hit slash page and we're gonna hit enter and we'll just call this our task table. And from here, I'm just gonna hit slash and type create, hit enter on linked view of database and we'll go ahead and click tasks. Now I see all of my tasks here, but I just wanna see my tasks that need to be planned. Okay, so my tasks that don't have a date associated with them. So I'm just going to hide this title here. We'll rename this table to need planning. And we can go ahead and filter this by date here. And we'll just do date is empty. And now it's only going to show me where the date is empty. And from here, I can just go back to my page right here. And no matter where this page is, it could be in my side panel if I want to, it could be anywhere. All I have to do now is hit slash button and we'll go ahead and call this plan tasks. We'll select the calendar and I'm going to add a step to this button and we're going to open page and I'm just going to select that page that I just created. So task table and we're going to open in side peak and hit done. So now I can hit plan tasks and I'm going to see all of my tasks that don't have a date associated with them. Here's the neat thing about this. I can quickly just drag them directly into my calendar. And then once I don't have any items left in here, I can close this here. And now we have all of our items in the calendar. Now let's imagine that these were both cleared, then we wouldn't have anything in the calendar, but we just hit plan tasks. And then we simply drag these into our calendar wherever it is that we want to complete them. Tip number three is to mark an item as reviewed. 
In the click of a button, you can mark the page that you're looking at in a database as reviewed. Let's imagine that we have an inline database and this database is YouTube videos. And let's just call this first one video. And this is where we're gonna change the name of the video. And I'll call this one seven tips for Notion buttons. And we'll call another one Notion buttons full tutorial. Then maybe we'll also have productive brain 3.0 intro. So these are just some hypothetical videos that I might release. So what I could do here is just delete tags and let's imagine that we have an assignee for this. Okay, so we have assignee, the person that is in charge of this task at this stage. And let's also imagine that we have a status. Now, when the status is not started, that means it's just like completely not started, it's just an idea. But let's imagine that we have some steps in the middle here, like film and edit, and maybe we have publish. I'm just gonna change the colors of these and we'll make this last one complete. And now let's go ahead and add an assignee of myself for this one because it still needs filmed. We'll go ahead and add Drake for the second one because it needs to be edited. And then we'll go ahead and call this one Carter as well. And I'll just make the stage on these ones film and we'll make the stage on this one edit. Now I can go ahead and add a URL column. And this is just going to be video URL. And let's imagine that Drake uploads a URL here to youtube.com slash blah, 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 whatever it might be. And this is the review of the video that I wanna see. Let's say it's unlisted on YouTube. What I could do here, if this was in the edit stage, is I could open this up. And if we have a button in here, let's just create a button. I could call this review or mark reviewed. And from here, I can add a step to edit pages in, and then if I click on this workflow value of this page, it's going to edit the property on this page, however I want it to edit it. So edit a property, status, and we're going to go ahead and change the status to publish. So then I'm gonna hit done. And now after reviewing and watching this video, I can just hit mark reviewed, even if this status here is hidden and it's just a property that is meant to be filtering things. I could just go ahead and hide those, view the video and then hit mark reviewed. And then it's going to change it to publish. Let's hit command Z to go back. And furthermore, what I could do is I could edit another property and I could add another assignee and I could say replace with so I could change the assignee to the publisher. So let's just say Nolan, hit done. So now watch what happens when I hit mark reviewed. Hit mark reviewed, it changes the assignee and it also changes the status to publish. Tip number four is to create multi-step routines with a button. Let's imagine for a moment that we want to open up a few different pages with one button. And we can do more than just open up two pages, but this is an example to show you how you can do multi-step routines and launch these crazy sequences of events with one button. So I'm just gonna hit slash, I'm gonna type B-U-T, enter, and we're going to call this plan my tasks. And we'll go ahead and change this to the calendar icon, similar to how I did with the quick capture earlier. And you know what? We're actually going to use that as an example here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit add step, open page, and we're going to select our quick capture example from earlier. So now it's going to open up that quick capture page where I had that calendar. Let's make this full page. And then let's add a multi-step action here, open page, and we're going to open that second page. So we're just going to search for table, task table, and we're gonna open this one in side peak. Now, if I hit done, from anywhere in my Notion workspace, I can now launch this routine of planning my tasks. So let's say I wanted to plan my tasks, boom, I hit plan my tasks, and as you can see, it opens up our calendar from earlier 
and it opens up that other relevant page of task table. And from here, I can simply drag this item into my calendar and now my tasks are planned. Tip number five is to add bulk routines using a button in Notion. So let's imagine that I wanted to add more than one item to a database and I wanted to be able to add like a block of routines every morning, for instance. So what I could do is just hit slash create a database and we'll just call this morning routine. And in here, I'm just going to enter the task for that morning routine. And we'll go ahead and delete this tags property. And we will add in the property for checkbox. And I'm just going to drag this down so it looks appealing visually. And now I'm just going to delete all the tasks out of here so that we have an empty database. I'm going to rename the table to morning routine. And we can go ahead and hit enter here. Enter again and enter one more time. And then we'll go ahead and add a button by hitting slash B U T enter. And here we can go ahead and add morning routine. So I'm going to add the icon of the sunrise. And now I'm going to add a step in this button to add a page to you guessed it morning routine. And we're going to call this drink water. We're going to add another step, add page two morning routine go on run add another step add page two morning routine and we'll call this one read 15 minutes then we'll do one more meditate 10 minutes now we can hit done and in one click we can add our entire morning routine to take this a step further we can add a date property here and we can set this up so that Inside of each of these, they have a date of today. So now let's imagine we have a fresh database and I hit add morning routine. And what it's done here is it's actually added the current date. So what I can do now is add a filter of checkbox where checkbox is unchecked. And let's just start checking these off and they will disappear as I check them off. Now, once all of those are checked off, I can hit add morning routine again the next day and begin checking those off. So now every single day for my morning routine, I just click this button, it populates my tasks, and I can check them off for that specific date. Tip number six is to create a back to home button within your Notion account. You can use this anywhere in your Notion account and it will take you back to any page, but in particular, this is helpful to take you back home. So what I mean by that is if you have like a hub in Notion, you can just create a button and we'll go ahead and open page. We're gonna select our page and I'm just gonna take it back to Hey Carter. And here I'm just going to type back to home. We'll add an icon and I'm just gonna type arrow and I want that nice back button. Let's just go with the nice clean gray look and we're going to change this to full page and hit done. Now, anywhere in my Notion workspace where I have this back to home button, I can just click it and it'll bring me back to my home page. I hope you enjoyed these tips on some different ways that you can implement Notion buttons. If you did, then check out this video right here. This is a full tutorial on Notion buttons that's going to teach you the ins and outs and everything that you need to know to become a Notion button pro.